You know, there's been a spotlight on Anthony Volpe pretty much since the first pitch of opening day, and that can make it a little bit easy to forget that he's still relatively new at all this. Uh, there's been some highs, some lows, and yes, his batting average is still below 200, but Volpe provided an unintentional reminder of that today as he was packing up his bags here. We had just finished talking to him about his performance in this one, his first multi-hit game since May 14 as the Yankees win this afternoon, evening, here at Dodger Stadium, 4-1 to one over the Dodgers. And Volpe said uh, something along the lines of, wow, he had really enjoyed his first West Coast trip. And it kind of took a second to think about it. And I said, oh, yeah, right. You're, you're new here. Um, you haven't been on a West Coast trip. Uh, Yankees take four out of six on the West Coast, two out of three here at Dodger Stadium. As Volpe provided some late insurance with a two-run homer in the ninth inning. He also hit a ball hard, encouraging signs on a day when the Yankees really could not muster much offense. They were held in check early on, and it looked like this was going to be a small ball game. Uh, their first two runs scored on RBI ground outs by Kyle Higashioka and Oswaldo Cabrera, and it looked like that was going to hold up because Domingo Herman was excellent. Uh, really on point, six and two-thirds, strong innings, allowed one run, and it came at the end of his outing. J.D. Martinez took him in the left field seats for a solo shot. But other than that, Herman was really, really sharp, and it's exactly what the Yankees needed on a day when uh, they announced that Nestor Cortez has a left shoulder injury. We still don't know the severity of that because he's going to go get a MRI tomorrow in New York, but clearly it's going to be an IL situation for Nestor. And uh, Herman, who really was coming into spring training competing for the number five spot, he has been one of their best starting pitchers behind Garrett Cole uh, this season. So where would the Yankees be if Domingo Herman was not out there taking the ball and, and really dominating here this afternoon? Uh, he leaned on his curveball and change up a lot, uh, was aggressive, said that was part of the game plan against this uh, big swinging Dodgers offense. He was able to generate swing and miss, get a lot of pounded balls into the ground, and uh, it was a winning formula. Um, Clay Holmes, uh, Wandy Peralta pitched well in relief, and of course, Volpe's home run uh, provided some insurance there. And uh, Aaron Boone believing that or hoping that this uh, performance can kind of turn the corner for Volpe because he uh, he has been in the spotlight uh, for you know obviously the the batting average is not where he would like it to be, still under the Mendoza line, uh, but. Uh, he has been, as Boone says, a winning player. And Aaron Judge talked a little bit about Volpe after this one, too, said that uh, one thing about it is you knew there was going to be bumps and bruises. They knew that when they named him the opening day shortstop, and they were willing to live with that uh, because he had the right mentality, and he wouldn't take his at-bats out in the field. He's still hustling, still diving for balls, still uh, impacting the game on the base pass when he does get out there. The problem is he hasn't uh, been collecting enough hits, but hey, a multi-hit game here, and uh, it kind of provided a spark at the bottom of the Yankee order here. I mentioned Judge, and of course, that's the big story as we uh, watch now what happens when the Yankees head back east. And so, uh, as you know, of course, a Judge made that sensational catch in the right field bullpen wall uh, in the eighth inning on Saturday. He was not available at any point today. He expects to have x-rays and or MRIs, certainly a, a whole battery of tests to, to try and figure out exactly what the severity is there. And uh, I mentioned to him, I said, Aaron, uh, you're talking about x-rays. Um, x-rays are to determine breaks in bones. Do you feel right now like you have a broken right big toe? And he said, uh, he kind of sidestepped that one, said, look, I've never had a broken toe before. I don't know what that feels like, and I don't want to put anything out there before. Um the tests come back. So now we wait for the tests. Uh, and so figure probably at some point on Tuesday, we'll have more information on that. The Yankees are uh, on the way back to the East Coast. They have an off day tomorrow, and then they open a series with the White Sox at Yankee Stadium on Tuesday. So uh, a couple things to watch there for there. We're, we'll of course, wait on uh, Nestor Cortez, what a prognosis is there. And, and the really big one, uh, wait and see what the latest is on Aaron Judge. So that's the Hokey Pokey. That's what it's all about. Thanks for watching the West Coast trip. Uh, Yanks wrap their 4-2, and two, a winning road trip to Seattle and L.A. I got to wear a suit filling in for Meredith today. Uh, Meredith will be back on Tuesday. And uh, Yankees win this one 4-1. to one. So we'll see you back in New York.